Okay, so this is a, a camera example using the, the Arduino MKR Vita 4000 and uh, a, actually uh, an, an OV5647 camera. And uh, I'm using a Maker Force, not the Omni version that's mentioned inside the example here. Um, so this is using the QR recognition example. Um, and it shows, as it states, it's using the FPGA architecture and uh, it's that so that's processing the recognition of the QR code and it's going to key off the three blocks on the QR code to recognize that um, this is for my beater scout my little robot to identify the QR code um, for navigation um, and going with that so this is I'm using this example as a baseline I also brought in uh, the bitstream uh, example out there but not using the Arduino one because that created a problem so I had to use an alter alternative to that and so it's actually doing uh, some hardware more hardware processing through the FPGA to be able to accomplish this and uh, so uh, yeah so this example it, it, it goes through and it's going to recognize the QR code um, and uh, using the the Vita graphics library and that's the one I rebuilt that actually using this example, the, the Vita Bitstream example, and then uh, re-synthesizing uh, that, and then using that code, the end result code for this. Um, so this isn't the straight example that comes out when you load the libraries and the board to the Arduino software, and there are some differences in the code um, in, inside here. So. Uh, there's a beginning and end, but there's so th they show the example here uh, a way to use this and, and actually the new example um, actually uh, go over here to it um, let's see if we can go so I've added some extra stuff you'll see here is a vcam dot vgfx begin uh, not just the begin, VCAM begin that you see here. And then there, I believe there was maybe this one, the VCAM.QRREC.draw. Uh, so I think that those two are the new ones. And uh, so when you first start this, I had an example previously and uh, it didn't work. So I had to go find out what the difference was and I just brought up a base example um, from uh, the Arduino IDE based on the code that I just brought in from the Vita Bitstream. Um, and so, uh, and in this particular code, I've actually also included the Vita NeoPixel. So I have a, a, a pixel strip that I'm, I'm using. I've altered the code that was provided for the matrix, and I'm just using a, a pixel strip right now, which I'm going to cut this up and use bits and pieces of it for my project. But uh, that's what I have. So I've added some. I've added a structure for my NeoPixel stuff, um, so I can process that and pass it to a method that I created down here to set the pixel based on uh, that struct that got passed in. I may go and do something else, maybe with a class. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, so this basically goes and initializes everything. Uh, it gets things set up, and then there's a power on that, that shows up when this thing is running. And uh, it'll go through the beginning to get the NeoPixel part of it going. Uh, it sets up and it clears out the NeoPixels. There's one LED that stays lit, not quite sure why. Um, and then it just loops through, uh, collecting, uh, it, it, it reads the QR code, and then it processes that and it create a cross, basically a crosshair on screen. And, uh, and right here I can see a well, QR code found and then that'll identify that. And it sets uh, a red LED on the NeoPixel and then uh, that'll blink when it does find something and it won't blink if it doesn't. Um, so uh, right now it's not blinking because I have the QR code covered. Um, and then we'll go through and set and yeah and then it goes back and it refreshes everything so that's pretty much what that code does and then I have the serial console down at the bottom uh, to show what's happening with that so um, yeah so this is the example that they have it's pretty much what you see there 
and then uh, just some basic information they provide on there. Uh, they show the, the methods that you have for the camera and stuff like that, but some of this has changed with the new code. So if you bring in the Vitor Bitstream, um, I don't know if it's going to come later, but they did some uh, class definition changes, so it's not going to be the same. Um, and that's what I had to find because there's new begins that you had to add. Um, so that's that part of it. I'm going to go ahead and... Nope, I don't want this. I don't want that. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I have the camera. I have a webcam that's showing the screen where the HDMI output for the beater um, output for the beater board is. And so I have... Uh, the QR code that's covered, and then uh, as you'll see, if I remove it, it picks up the QR code, and you see the the crosshairs here that are picked up, and uh, and so it identifies that, and then I have the blinking LED, which blinks when that's so. Uh, so if I cover it up, then it should go off, and then uh, go back and do that. I'm not quite sure. I don't think it recognizes the rest of the QR code here. Which I saw somewhere was re uh, referenced QR codes referenced as a uh, robot vomit. So I don't know. I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, so that's what that does, and then uh, it's pretty much what it does for right now. So I'm going to use this um, actually as a finder. So the robot's going to have to go through a maze and then find the QR code and then blink and then perform some action and then. Uh, if I can get it to identify the actual QR code. This actual QR code I created from a website um, and this is actually the QR code is MKR Vitor 4000 um, so that's what it was made of. Um, so that's pretty much what that example does. Um, that with the added that and then you can see from the serial console that it's actually saying the QR code found if I go ahead and cover that and clear the output, then it should go away and then it starts up again. So that's pretty much what the example does. Um, so it's using the camera to identify the QR code and then processing that out, uh, out on the HDMI. And then you can make decisions based on whether the QR code was found or not. So that's pretty much it. There you go.